the end. With this incredible possibility for expansion, Sans is a blank slate for future Minecraft updates, including a drumroll please, the end updates, which will add new biomes, Whoa. new mobs, new ores, and so much more. Throughout the years, Mojang's primary focus has been expanding the overworld, thus leaving the end as a barren wasteland with nothing in it. In this video, I'll be discussing what it comes to a Minecraft end update, and why the next Minecraft update has a very high chance of being the end update. Back in 2015 in the 1.9 combat update, all they added was end cities and end ships containing elytras. Oh, and I forgot one more thing, chorus fruit. How could I forget chorus fruit? Literally nobody uses chorus fruit. Anyways, it's been nine years since the end dimension was even touched. The only point of going to the end now is getting the dragon egg, elytras, and shulkers. Now for what could be added this update? Many modders have made end update concepts proving it can be easily done by Mojang themselves. For example, there's currently an add-on for Bedrock called End Reimagined, which includes some crazy new things, like new end biomes, new huge structures. This add-on even adds two new bosses, which let's be honest, the Ender Dragon fight is just so stale. You do the same thing over and over again each time you play Minecraft. All you're doing pretty much is just spamming your sword. You can't tell me this is not cool, like a giant enderman coming from a portal, like, you know, sopping his fist on the ground. Gameplay experience is, like, way better, like, they made the ender dragon, like, ten years ago. The fight is just so stale, but it would definitely increase the playability of Minecraft, making an actual good boss fight, not just a spam your sword fest. So, there should be a new type of ore added this update, like, way better than netherite. The only block in the ground for the end dimension is end stone. We need something else. I propose the end shard, or something along those lines. Just please. Give us a new ore or something in the end dimension. Like, two new wood types also work great for the end dimension. Like, you got for the nether That would be amazing. And if you're playing Minecraft Survival, it's actually another reason to go back to the end dimension. Not go there for the elytra, then leave forever. You actually have a purpose of going back there. Let's be honest, they probably can't add as much content as the end reimagined add-on, but they can certainly try. And at least make an update on the same exact scale as the nether update. And still add all the basic stuff like new mobs, structures, biomes, that type of stuff. You might be asking yourself, how long will this update take to make? About one year and two months. If we take a look back here at the village and pillage updates, which was two updates before the nether update. You were most certainly working on the nether updates around the same time of the busy bee update. That update is actually tiny. They put no effort into it. So they were definitely working behind the scenes on the nether update, which took them about a year and two months. The same what he said about the end update, which could have released in July 2025. Now for the exact reasons why this update might be coming out next year. So you might know the end reimagined out on I was talking about earlier in the video. Well, they actually put that on the marketplace for better off. Hinting ads to the end update coming next year. Posted two videos on YouTube recently, one about the Ender Dragon, and one video about the Dimension in general. Further backing this up, for the 10th anniversary of Minecraft, we got the Nether update. And now, lo and behold, we're at the 15th anniversary. So, we could get the end update next year. And even more information, the Minecraft movie is coming out next year, sometime in 2025. And look at the summary for the movie. The Ender Dragon, like, strikes back or something. But it says Ender Dragon. They are hyping the end dimension up, the end update in general. And finally, Minecraft players have been begging for another update. Around the time of the Village and Pillage updates. And later, they added the update. Think of me so with caves and cliffs. Players begged for a cave update. They gave us a cave update. If this same trend continues and players beg for an end update, I'm just saying next year should be the Minecraft end update. If you enjoyed my rant about the Minecraft end updates, want to see this update in 2025, then please drop a like on the video. Please subscribe right now.